Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. So I'll continue the, dis the discussion on representing complex numbers in different forms. So as was stated before, there are three ways to represent a complex number. So we saw the rectangular form. Today we'll talk about the exponential form and Next recording, we'll talk about polar form. So let's say we have C equal to A plus J times B. A and B are real numbers. J squared is equal to negative 1. We saw from previous videos that the magnitude of C is equal to the square root of quantity a squared plus b squared. And we also saw that the angle of c is the inverse tan of b divided by a. So if we look at the graph to the right, cosine theta is equal to a divided by c. Then if we rearrange it, we get A equal to uh, the magnitude of C times cosine theta. We do the same thing for sine theta. So we get B is equal to C times sine theta. As stated previously, C is equal to A plus J times B. Then C uh, will we'll replace A and B with uh, a with C times cosine theta and B with C times sine theta. Then if we factor out the magnitude of C, then we get C is equal to the magnitude of C times quantity cosine theta plus J times sine theta. We as we know, Euler identity is e to the power of j times theta is equal to cosine theta plus j times sine theta. So c equal to magnitude of c times quantity cosine theta plus j, j times sine theta becomes c is equal to the magnitude of c times e to the power of j times theta. So this is the exponential form. So basically you take a complex number c, it's equal to the it, its magnitude times e to the power of j times theta. Let's look at a quick example. Let's say s is equal to p plus j times q equals equal to 20 plus j times 10 MVA. Sorry, there's a typo. MVA. So the magnitude of S is equal to the square root of quantity 20 squared plus 10 squared, which is 22.36 MVA. Then the angle of S is equal to the inverse tan of 10 divided by 20 which is 26.5 degrees. So S in its rectangular form is equal to 22.36 times E to the power of J times 26.5 MVA. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to Engineering Simple. Thank you again and have a good day.